some nukes with the nukes. Why not? Why the hell not? Why? Why not? Who, who's stopping me? Are you gonna stop me? No, you're not. Oh, I forgot you can go back to your ship. Sure. Wow. Wow. Of course, Duke brought his steroids on the S sub frame rate. Is there a camera on the ship? They better not be watching me. That's a crime. That's illegal. I'm playing some on baby mode because I'm baby. Oh my god, why is everything so loud? Why does this. Why do my audio sound like keeper setting? I hate this. Hail to the king, baby. <sighs> Out of my way, pretty woman. Hello? <laughs> Mr. President. I'm here to save the president. Cool spaceship, bro. Bruh. That spaceship's rad. It has all the gizmos. Get out of my way. Pretty woman. Don't worry, my mouse feels a bit itchier than normal. Let's make it a little less itchy. There we go. Ah, that still doesn't feel good. It's set to red, right? Yeah. And of course, I... <laughs> if there's one salient detail I don't like about my current new laptop is that what, the, the fans stick out the sides. So I have to push it back a good distance to... <sighs> not burn my hand off. Oh, ow. Oh god, this flashing is annoying. Come get some. I got a peep boom. I do love me some peep bumps. Why? Why can I see my own ship? Is this for long distance calls? I'm not paying. Put your hands up for Detroit. Thank you. I will now no longer put my hands up for Detroit. I like how of all the things Duke Nukem brought with him. He bought a rocket launcher with him. Because of course he did. What else did this madman bring with him on this space adventure? A shoe. A shoelace. Laced shoes. You might bring those. See you coming. Yeah, and with this, I am technically the king. Y'all are done. The Shrinker is the most single most useful weapon in all of Duke Nukem. If you don't got the Shrinker, you don't got buns, hun. With all due respect, it's that simple. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, oh, ow, ow. Ow. Oh, shit. You can't attack me. I'm in space. I'm in international waters. You can't shoot people on in international waters. That's a crime. 
And as we all know, they are law-abiding citizens. Oh. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Not only do shrunk enemies un are shrunk enemies unable to attack me, they can also be instantly destroyed. And a couple of really big strong dudes are pretty vulnerable to it. <sighs> and the worst enemy in the entire game has let himself be known. The security drone. So am I, Mr. Duke to Nukem. That's a reference. <clears throat> We're so dead. a bit old, really. I'm playing this on piece of cake, go away! I'm baby. I'm playing this on mega baby mode, please. No bully. I am but baby. I am but small insignificant baby. In there. Hello, Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. Come no. get some. Well, that just fucking blows. Here we go, suck and blow. So it's more like blow and blow around here, right guys? See now there's some comedy humor. Oh my god, my eyes. Where is it? Oh my eyes. Oh, we're just gonna look this for a bit. Let's take it. Jared area has been unlocked. Uh, good weapons for this guy is if you can hit him with the RPG, that's a good idea. Uh, otherwise, personally recommend the chain gun or shotgun. They both have the good rate of fire and they can get the job done. Also, these guys have a really high stun chance. They're basically lost souls in a weird way. The problem with the chain gun is that while it does the job, you waste a lot of ammo doing it. First aid kit. Why ain't that just peach key? He tried hard, but he didn't come far. <laughs> what a mess. Have we met these guys before? These little uh, green slimes? They're kind of annoying, I guess. As long as you hold the mighty boot button, you'll be fine. But if you don't, they'll get on your screen, they'll eventually start hurting you. They also leak acid love, which is a feature that we're not going to see for a while after these guys. 
much, really. I just wish there was a slightly better weapon for you guys. Come get some. Don't forget to add me to every sandwich. Now that's the good stuff. Delicious! Recommended by the... By who? Who would recommend this? That probably did something somewhere. Oh, I have a jetpack. I don't have infinity jetpack ammo, but I have a jetpack. Difficulty levels are some turrets around here too. It's not on here. I'm pretty sure that I have shotguns back in medieval times, Duke. Man. Well, I guess if anything, I should be happy they work at all underwater. scientific reason for them to work underwater since, you know, rockets tend to use air, uh, like, air-dependent fuels, so... Ow. Oh. See, I knew there were some turrets around here that would have stuck around, but... <sighs> what a mess. You know, the way he says that he sounds so childish. Like, ho oh, ho the water balls. Whoops, the sticker turtles! I'm Duke Dukem. Oh ho ho! I'm just such a doll! I think we've done it. We've saved America. Or this particular section of a moon station that's probably on the moon's government. Fortunately, I was arrogant. In fact, not saved America. And I have a lot of shrinker ammo, I should use some of it. You get them in pretty decent chunks, you rarely ever get it in like baby chunks. You always get it in healthy big boy chunks. So take it. The expander freaking sucks, but at least the shrink ray will always be good. Won't help me against that, though. Yeah, it doesn't help against that. Castle. I'm gonna like you for a reason. Oh, no. We're in a USS Machiavellian. I use a free ammo, I guess. I have some. God dang it. Ooh. 
We're gonna... Just gonna step over here. Don't worry about that. That's, that's not very relevant right now. Don't worry about it. I have everything under control. What the hell? Where the hell were you when I was growing up? I needed you. This is how you treat me. Gosh, you guys are just ass against this gun. Well, the downside is that once a target is successfully been uh. neutrificated, um, you still soak up ice real good, which just kind of makes it a very wasteful weapon. If you don't, if you don't watch what you're doing with this thing, you're just wasting ammo all over the place. I wonder what I got the idea for so many like old firing modes in in Blood. Since like Duke Nukem doesn't have that. I laid a lot of an ion store. Oh, I can't go through yet. That's uh the warp core. Something something techno babble blah 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 blah. Who cares? It's not really relevant. It doesn't really matter. Are you here yet? Yeah, you're here. Surprised this guy is here, though. Anyway, these guys suck. I thought they were nearly impossible to kill and always use the rocket launcher, but you're supposed to use the shrink ray on them. They're so easy when you shrink them. Same with the mini battle lords. It's it, it shrink ray just does so much good stuff. Yeah, similar to the ice gun. Yeah, there's a lot of weapons in Duke that require you to pay attention. Uh, the pipe bomb, the shrink ray, the expander to some extent, the ice gun, uh, the laser trip mines. So many guns required to, 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 to put in like five extra cents to make it work, and I'm like, come on, man, just give me a gun. I guess if you want to have just a gun, you play Doom. And that comes from someone who likes Doom. You know, I'm having a piece of cake time, and I like that, because I play this on... Bring it on. I didn't much care for it. It was a nice challenge, but... I just wanna have fun. Ha, you are like baby. You are like insignificant baby. My name is Hi D8 Clue, and I've got freezing beams. Man, that's ice cold! Yo -ho -ho! Cool down! Yo -ho -ho! You gotta chill out! <laughs> the old saying goes, the more jokes you tell per second, the funnier it gets. I guess never say it is bad either. I never really use it for anything else anyway, so might as well throw it out there. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh my god. I hate security drones! I can't stand them! Why does Duke Nukem? Have so many pseudo puzzles where you just push your buttons, just slap your hands, just slap your big meaty paws against this panel for a couple of moments. That's gameplay, right? That's gameplay. You just slap your hands against the panel. There's never really any challenge or risk. I guess if you're a speedrunner, you know the combinations. So you don't care. If you're not, it's just time. Oh no, there's a bad guy in there. If only he was small enough that I could stand on him. The irony is that you get the shrink ray before you meet up with enemies that are significant threat and stomping. Because some enemies do have that power. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Why are you so annoying? No one invited you to this party, man. 
I even told Bob, just cancel his reservations. He will show up if we don't cancel his reservations. He's like, oh, it's gonna be fine, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. He knows when to show up, and that's not the time. God damn it. My life is just a chain of him making mistakes, really. It's excellent, it's him. Now here's a trick. That's all you got, no kids. The downside is, if you are using auto aim, turn it off, please. Auto aim. So the way sp the, the the shrink ray works is it hits and then expands a little bulb, like it's basically a rocket. But the rocket effect is that it shrinks whatever it hits. The problem is that when you use auto aim, it aims too high. The actual hitbox for the enemy is like down at their feet for a shrinkage. So you'll just hit their body and not do anything and you'll think the shrink ray isn't effective when the opposite's actually true. It's like super effective. It's just... Wait, did I never push that button on my playthrough? I guess not. I guess I'm a big dum dum. Hollow Duke, aka Gangton that works on exactly one enemy and none else. Ugh. That fact just frustrates me. No matter the day of the week. Doesn't matter if it's Friday or Tuesday or just. Just any day of the week. Hollow Duke could have been great. It could have been the best item in the game. But instead, it doesn't work and it's the crappiest item in the game because it doesn't do anything. Okay, so where's this button? There are two secrets in this level and they're both the same area. Just remember, it. I kind of want to have this one out here. Hmm. Looks like I have the card. Groovy. Why is, why is that the secret sector? A card. The Earth has... Why does that always happen? Why is there always some graphics that glitch out like that? Isn't that the rocket launcher that had that problem too? Yeah, I remember the rocket launcher that having issues with that. I don't know what happens from. It just happens sometimes. I don't want to deal with this. Of course. A distinct difference between the classical shrink ray and the much more appreciated ice gun is that the shrink ray disarms you for a moment. You have to step on what you're killing. I think you can shoot them, but I wouldn't recommend futzing around too much. But You know, this is all like a cute reference, but they didn't put in enough props to make it work. Like, come on, put, put a couple extra props in there, you know, like give, give, us, give it some spice. And stop jamming me in the elevator closet. Thank you. Although I imagine that to work within limitations. Like they are making a fun little reference, they probably couldn't spend like 8 billion resources on it. Oh wow! I <laughs> actually got him. Yeah, that just looks so gross! There is, there is definitely, definitely a situation where that stuff messes up too. Man, me battle lords can be the worst pain in the ass if you don't have the trick to them. Do we do we open the core? Don't step on that. That that stuff hurts you, and since you probably don't have protective boots, it's just gonna kill you. Because this hurts fast. That's 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 no nonsense. Do I want to do the secret level? I don't want to do the secret level. It's just a big washing machine, and it's so boring. 
I don't want to suck at level. I don't want to do this. I just want to sit down and have some. I just want to have a banana. I just want to sit down and have a nice banana. I know you're pit. I know. I know you're pissed. I killed your 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 Wednesday. <laughs> I killed your Wednesday date. In the afterlife, every day is Wednesday, you know. Oh my god, what does this game have for flashing lights? I guess epilepsy wasn't a big concern back then. God, you're so pretty. You're so pretty. That's neat. But also just a smidgen excessive. Fuck. Dude, what the hell's your problem? Dude, over here. Okay, let's turn on the... Okay, there's a lot going on in this room that I can't see quite yet. I'd love to have some basic goonies I can shoot with my pistol. Now, I think I've noticed that I don't think every egg is fertilized and ready to rock and roll. That's the exit switch, if I recall correctly. That's the actual important bit of this level. But you're actually supposed to hit it from over one of these stompers. Now, be careful, by the way. These things... Uh, Duke Nukem, unlike Doom, does not give you pity. Pity survivability. If you get smushed, you're dead. Duke Nukem is a surprisingly bespoken man in that regard. Look at my well bespoken boot, one might say. Jam, that's tight. Just give me the shivers, man. As a well-bespeaking man, I feel that my opinions are slightly more important. What the going on with the noise? Doesn't this stuff kill you? No. No, it's going to crush you. There's some... Well, that's anticlimactic. Oh, wait, I have these. I can be the well bespoken man I was always meant to be. I do hardly recommend the boot for these things. And their friends. And the pistol. They're not a high threat target, so... 
Going to just have to take it, take it easy. Use that pistol ammo for something. I haven't paid to do this. Don't get on my face, that's rude. Need that face for looking good. Good job. Now hold R until you feel the click. Good job. Talked about this. Use your nice words. You're in the way of this well bespoken prize, lady. No, sir. Sir! Your manners will not do. There was another secret in here, right? No, 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 no. It's in this room. We're gonna blow it up. That way we can earn the prize of being the most... There we go. Lovely. Sure. We can... We can write that off on our tax returns as good manners. I don't want to see him. Listen. 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 I understand that you think we can make up and we can fix this relationship. But it's rarely that easy. A lot of relationships are really complicated. They have a lot of moving parts. I don't know what's going on with those moving parts, you know. I just don't want to put up with those moving parts, alright? So the weird thing is, there's an emulator in the game that's immune to shrinking. But it's pretty obvious that Duke Nukem is also not affected by his own trick stuff, which is in the... Well, unless shrinking hitboxes are their own thing. Hmm. Also, if you wonder why, why do I never use the steroid upgrade, it's because the steroid is just steroids is in my jam, man. They, they just make you faster and I don't like them. Listen, sir. Listen. I told you. Well, bespeaken. More or less. God damn it, I ran straight in them. If only that heroic man from that one video game was here to just help me with my frustrations by saying, God damn! Jesus! I like how it implies a, 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 a series of events. There. Again, these guys suck. Just shrink them. Shrink them and stomp them. They rarely ever appear in situations where they... Where they we can't just drink him and, and give him the old boom. I forgot how this one works. Button over here. Oh, yeah, she was running over. Get the health and then float your way back up again. Interesting way to handle your level design, I'll say, but. Not something I'm too passionate about. Be careful, if they start spinning, I think they stop the shrinking. Okay, that was, that was just terrible. They also rarely ever do that spin attack. They just have it, and they just don't use it. Though, to be fair, it's a very crappy move. Usually, their rocket launcher is just more deadly and more effective. Okay, if I need to remember something. Isn't this the level where the secret exit is? This is a question to which I need an answer, and I'm going to look it up. Because as much as I just don't want to do it, it wouldn't be 100% just... Running on through! Oh my god. 
Why is everyone making these silly t-shirts with like, <laughs> with little boys going, be kind. So cute. Uh, always occupy territory. It's the next level I was thinking of that has the secret exit. That explains why my brain can't remember it. Well done. No, seriously, why is that? Because I remember that from ages ago. Is that bit rot? Hail to the king, baby. Oh, fuck. I just remember what this level is. And it makes you want to say, God damn! Yeah, that room. Oh boy! That room on... Uh, which one is it? Let's Rock? Or Come Get Some? The third difficulty. This room has a lot of bad lords. And they hurt. And Daddy doesn't want to put up with that sometimes. So I like how fast this thing shoots. Always make sure you waste a couple of shots. Or at least me. I don't have the trigger to quite use that weapon 100% effectively yet. Well, 100% efficiently, I guess, is the proper term here. Although, again, I, I really love when Duke Nukem uses uh, doors open, lights get brighter. Is this a, a neat... A, where's the light? <laughs> Imagine they wanted to put a, a light source there. That makes sense, but they didn't. I do remember that... Shrinking doesn't last forever. And once the shrinking wears thin, you gotta know what you're doing. Again, another holoduke, which only works on the, the Tyranids, aka the, the big tentacle guys who shoot the, the weird blah blah blah. I need to be careful with my shrink ray because I'm running low on ammo. Make sure the suit's commander as we get the health. Oh my god, really? This is it. This is this is the it. I get my pretty hiney over here, and this is the it I get. Fuck. So how does it know to respond to projectiles, anyway? Like, in 19... In the 90s. In the 80s. How would you know to make an AI do that? I guess since they can already spawn to Duke... Making them respond to arbitrary AI wouldn't be as complicated, but would it, like, you could also just make it just simple, you know? Like, the AI exclusively responds to, uh, the player character. It makes it nice and simple, AI don't attack each other, which Doom, Doom did not do. Doom went the hard route, and the monsters will attack whatever shot them. Which is why fighting is the thing, and it's probably one of the best parts of Doom. It's just, uh, using monsters against each other instead of as a, just an obstacle. It's like, keep the simp around, he can distract someone later down the line, and then he dies instead of you. That's great. I never got this turret. in this game. It, it's decently accurate. It can hit a target and hurt it. It it can win the game? <sighs> it's the worst room in the game. 
This room hurts even on piece of cake. What other proof do you need that it's just not a good room? Or fun room. It's a good room. I have the key. No, I have the key. What if we all shared? The answer, of course, is that that's a prissy princess answer, and we don't take kindly to those answers around here. There's one key and only one nukem, which means that technically there's a correct amount of keys for the amount of people that intend to use them, since the alien force doesn't seem to use keys at all. So I guess he doesn't really have to share it. Just do whatever he wants, really. I'll just say for the sake of my own ego that the statement stands. Let God sort him out. And Duke, the totally not a cannibal Nukem. Oh, yeah. So here's an interesting thing you might want to remember about the okay? Shrunken creatures cannot attack you. Don't forget, you guys can fall to death as much as I can. Seems pretty high. It's something that can really happen. To anyone else, I apparently heard that it's a uh, get your ass kicked today. Um, this secret's kind of weird. How does it work again? So this is the exit proper. But the secret is the button, and then you jump over here. Uh. Since I'm an idiot, I'll just have to use my jetpack. What do we get for getting this shared level? No, we get a spin cycle. We get a level that's just spinning and 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 spinning. And spinning. It's... It's got ammo! Things I'll give this level. Oh yeah. I forgot. There's, there's the quotes. Also, you kind of want to never, ever, ever use any sort of projectile weapon on this because the floor affects projectiles as much as anything else. I don't fucking long this bit cycle is, though. Yeah, it's pretty big. Of course! The level of one of the worst rooms in the game would lead to one of the worst secrets. Wouldn't it? I wonder what, other, what people, like, legitimately consider, like, the worst level of Duke Nukem. Like, the worst level, worst room, and the worst level flat, you know. Like, if they could say, I'd never want to play this level again, and they never ever have to, like, every time they come into the level, it just goes away. Or a room that, that room is just replaced by whatever's necessary for the room to not be necessary. You know, what would you ask for? Personally, I think that there's a lot of good good rooms and good levels in Duke, though. Otherwise, I wouldn't be playing it right now. But, uh, and I wouldn't be considering buying the other edition to compare them. Just, just do them both. But I'll play that one on a higher difficulty level and I just have some other fun. I'll play it on proper gum get some. Those guys aren't as annoying. Oh, this is, uh, interesting. Oh, at least my clothes are gonna be 100% dry after all this. Focus on them right now. Oh my god, who are you? Bob! Bob! I phoned your boss. He's not okay with you doing overtime. Bob, I know I know that you need extra money, Bob. I know you need the money, Bob. Listen, Bob, calm down, Bob. Bob, please, please, please. I know you need the money. I know you need the money, okay? I, 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 I heard from your wife. I heard, I heard the, the problems you're having at home, at work, just in general, you know, I've, I've heard. And I'm not here to tell you that those feelings aren't important. That that, that doesn't matter. B 
But what I am going to tell you is this is not the way to do it. If you overwork yourself, you're just going to have worse days and worse days and worse days. And you're just going to end up in a worse place. Get yeah, I'm in a situation you don't want to be in uh, to such an extent that you just don't want to wake up anymore, you know? And that's not, a, that's not a good feeling to have. It's a bad feeling. It's a negative feeling. Cool. You, know, you, don't want to, you don't want to be in a situation where you don't want to wake up anymore. I'm in a situation where you always have something to wake up for. Game, baby. And I just, just think that if, if the, if the missus, you know, you, if you all need a little bit more money, you know, instead of working some overtime, you can always just, you know, re reconsider some of your financial business decisions. You know, just, just think about the things you're doing in life. You can save money. There are people that can live on less, on a lower budget. It's, it's not good living, but it's living. And if it's really that hard on you, if it's that important, you'll make that sacrifice. It won't be a pretty sacrifice, but it's the sacrifice you have to make for yourself. To prove to yourself that you are the person that you think you are. But Bob, don't, don't, don't take it up with Duke. He's the guy running the show. I quit. What is going on? Am I going insane? Pretty sure I pushed the button there. So in case you wonder what that actually does, uh, it's called Stomp! When Stomp is engaged, Duke just stomps, really, it's that simple. Um, the way Stomp actually works is it ignores armor because it just does direct health value. Like, it access to the health value of the target, just fucking crushes them. I'm gonna call an adult. I'm gonna I'm gonna take out this phone. I'm gonna dial in 911. And I want you to tell the 911 what the fuck you think you're doing. Because I think I'm going insane. Right? How's that sound? How's that sound? That sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds alright to me. So I I'm not insane. I'm not insane at all. I'm a perfectly sane adult. I wake up every morning. I have a sandwich. I enjoy that sandwich. I get it! You have to push the door open, but because I usually trigger the enemies inside... <sighs> There's no enemies in here. I forgot about you. Because you appear at top and then just fall down like an asshole. Oh, there's two of you. Excuse me if I'm gonna take the cheap option in this scenario. Oh no, I have to kill you, don't I? Well, uh, that sure did stink. <clears throat> Let's never talk about the level again. Let's take the memories of that level, put them in a box. Just right over there. Haha, <laughs> what the fuck? I know you're there, Mr. Turret, but I don't care right now. I thought it was just a turret. What the fuck? I don't remember being a turret, but I guess not. I guess I'm the dum dum. I'm the one who's stupid.
I don't want to do any of the secrets in this level because they're all just not great. Cool, I got some medicine. Clickety clack, broke mother's back. builds doors like that needs to be taught that that's not how doors are supposed to work. Mentioning that I don't use my shotgun. Only proceed to not to use it. Sweet. Don't worry, really I care what either of us. at all due respect. Is the level from here? I thought this was just like a shortcut to the end section, but I guess it's the whole well, goddamn level we're just skipping here, huh? Sure, why not? Not interested though. Fresh jet pack for my bad back. Got a fresh jet pack for my bad back. I've got a fresh pack for my bad back. My back hurts. Ow, wow, wow. That's what I call accessible. You might say I didn't get that. Join the club. I can't find have to use these things. <laughs> I have two key cards. And I don't know where to use them. 
Hilarious. I, I, I hate it. Let's just slap this keycard at this door. <sighs> Had us in the first half. Had us in the first half. They fucking blew it. See, this is what I mean with Duke Nukem likes to spawn enemies behind you a lot more than blood does. And blood, if something has been cleared, it's clear, but here so many circumstances which that just isn't the case. Wait, oh, yeah, this is the actual intended flow of the level. I'm a dingus. you mistaken for someone else. But I guess Battle Lords are the more aggressive ones. Let's call it quit. Kapow! Tiberius Station oh. completed. Okay, is this the level I'm thinking of? No, it's Dark Side. Sure. playing baby level. You might be playing this on the baby difficulty level, but feel it. Come get some. Bite me. He does look nice to kid out, doesn't he? It's a man with a gun. He's got what it takes. He got crushed by a stall door! It only really happens if you got what it takes. Ordinary men are not crushed by stall doors. I wonder if they did that for kicks. Like, things have, like, can get killed. Uh, variables on them. So that was funny. So I noticed something. Oh, that's cool. It has a cutoff point. Probably because the angles get so shallow, it's weird. This game is a ninja meter. I like ninja meters. It's 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 a thing that um okay, I'm at it again. Okay, what was it again? Um Guncaster had it. Which is not really a game, I guess. More mod. Um where as you move faster. You took less damage from hit scan, or hit scan will become less accurate. One of the two. Appreciate the persistence, but get the fuck out of my house. Let me rephrase that. I do not appreciate the assistance. Get the fuck out of my house. This is something fun about that. This area sucks in a bit. 
It's gonna suck in a bit. This ambush sucks. And if you take the time to put down some laser mines, it still sucks. <sighs> so I need a devastator and the laser trip mines and the between the devastator and the pipe bombs, you always have something to blow something else up with. Especially if you don't mind the laser trip mines. Oh, I thought this was always like in like an open area, but I guess it's not. Okay, okay. First and foremost, I heard rumors that there is a jetpack down here, but I think I confirmed that last time isn't the case. I think I misread something or someone misspelled something. Okay, so there's a there's a cave around here somewhere. There it is. Don't get this without. Uh... Now, this is a force to be reckoned with. He's a cave. Seriously, don't try to get this without a jetpack. I'm kinda aware there's any stormtrooper out there. There you go. Salvation. Back home! Thank you. Um. Oh, we're down here! Well, you still got your ass kicked, but sure. That explosion only goes one way, by the way. If you think about being clever, uh, if you think about being clever, you can totally just jump up here. Now that I think about it. Yeah, there's nothing stopping from just jumping up here. Apparently, just shooting your way through this damn thing. I didn't know the whole thing was destructible. I just thought that one second. Was. It's not a Duke Nukem level if there aren't just eight enemies that haven't spawned in before the level started yet. And that just... It just suddenly pisses me off. You know... Resort really didn't need that downside. Why oh, there's a dude outside? He's pissed. We'll leave him be for now. But sure, why not? I'll take my prize and scram, I guess. Shut up, dude! Ugh, he, he's one person in Sugar Daddy, and he just gets, lets it all get to his head. Dude, I don't know how much you make it because of that stupid thing. But <laughs> whoever you're daddying, they're probably getting all the money. Sexy. But also, just not. It's 
it's freshen up down by the river, so. <laughs> oh, I bet you it is. I mean, considering that the, I think the find difficulty makes enemies respawn, right? Is that the case? Isn't the find difficulty like. Uh, what is it again? I don't know what the difficulty is from, from the top of my head. There's not much character to it, I guess. Turn off the blue if that's your problem. Also turn on the blue if you prefer it, I guess. It's it's your call. Do you want blue? Is your problem a lack or presence of blue? Now, I know that I recommended the shrink rate, but sometimes. Sometimes the answer is just God, this is what the Devastator was made for, isn't it? This is the Devastator's use case scenario. When they were presenting this to, to the to the to the live studio audience, this was where they showed it off. They were like, "This is what it can do." I know what any of these buttons do. Now, I'm not a scientist, but I know that explosives gel well with electronics. Oh. Oh, I just remembered something terrible. We need to get running. <laughs> I like how the enemy still got killed, though. Ugh, oh, that cost me a lot of health. Groovy. Oh, that's just me. These are my starting conditions. Jesus. Ugh. It's kind of screwy, man. God damn it. It's another one of those days. This music like this, like this calming music, just makes me think, you know what I want to play? I want to play Focus Island again. From Doom. That was an awesome wad, considering its age, man. Jesus. That was a galaxy brain wad. Made in, in the prehistoric era of Doom. <laughs> of 2008, was it? <laughs> Prehistory, people. Goes back further than you think. Uh, ah yes, the history goes back generations. Back to the year of 1955. Ah yes, back when men were men. Although, I say that in jest. I say that in jest. But there are lots of people who argue that just ten years ago the men were men and the boys were boys and the girls were girls. And that's changed since then. In all reality, boys who didn't want to be boys stopped being boys. It's not really the same argument. Groovy. I mean, there's now girls who want to be boys, who can help replace the lost population. You just have to keep an open mind. Adjust to the situation instead of trying to force an outcome, you know? That's a winner's winner's mindset. A winner doesn't 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 blame the circumstances, he blames himself for not having tried harder. Anyway, let's go free some things. That's awesome. Stop talking about politics. Start talking about ice beams. Yeah, that's cool. That's that's video games. Come get some. This is why I play video games. I've already said before, by the way, you can make Duke Nukem without having him be an asshole to the woman. To the woman. No. I'm pretty sure Duke Nukem is the kind of guy who would adjust to that. Because he seems like the kind of person who's respectful. He's confident, but respectful. And if someone says no, he'd be the kind of person to say, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll accept a no. After all, he does not represent the, 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 the machismo of the era. As much as he represents the idea of an all-American hero. A guy who can only do wrong by the, by the, by the, by the glib of, of his personality, so to speak. At least that's how I interpret him. I think that's probably not right. I'm pretty sure the original creators would have said, Ah, he's just a fucking... He's a ladies' man. And that's their prerogative. That's their right to say that Duke Nukem is that kind of man. But I personally think that his, his, his personality, his true character, shines at his finest. And is not restricted by uh, ideas of the year, so we say. Duke is at his most nukem. When he's allowed to be. He is deep inside. Not a sensitive man. 
a man who knows what he is and knows what he wants. And if John St. John reprises the role, for the love of God, tell him to have some confidence in his voice acting. Wait, is he... He might be dead. We live in an era where I cannot assume celebrities are alive anymore. They have died by the bunches, and those who remain are few and far between. And that's a sad thought, really. Man, that'd be sad. right this time. <laughs> Doesn't change much, but I did it right this time. This section sucks. I thought this was mostly, uh, yeah, I got it wrong. Like, I think Ion Fury represents, like, what, what, what Duke Nukem is at his core. He's a confident badass. He's a man you look up to, and you're like, I want to be, I want to be proactive and confident like him. He's supposed to represent ideals, not... You know, he's supposed to be a classic hero in the sense that he doesn't really have any flaws other than that he's just too cool for school. But he was still too... He didn't go to fucking school because he's supposed to be... Uh, ah, you get the point, though. You get the point. I think you can keep the character without the bad stuff. Like, there's a lot of people where I, I... Where a lot of situations where I think, just make a new goddamn... Just make a new race. If you're gonna make Drow fucking lavender, just make pale elves. Or make them snow elves, if you don't want to call them pale. Make them underground based. But don't make Drow that. Drow have always been dark. I don't know why. Technically something that lives underground wouldn't have high pigmentation. I mean, it makes sense, but then you realize that night, that dark vision is like thermal based, so it wouldn't really help them. I, I, my point is, they could have just summoned something else. And they make kobolds like these weird shark headed things. I'm like, are you trying to make them as ugly as the goblins because you really like you fucked up? Cause that's just sad. If not, sorry for assuming. Sorry for assuming. Here's my resignation as official commenter on the internet. I'll be back at 11. I don't know why the many train sections. I guess it's because it's cool. I mean, it's not not cool. I guess it's it's not like bad. Bad is the opposite of cool, right? Ouch. Ra -da 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 -da. You can skip that section if you're smart. Apparently they added direct like the main reason I want to play the other version is it has director's commentary and some more one-liners, which I appreciate. Maybe they made a one-liner for you. That'd be, that'd be actually very much in line with Duke. Duke doesn't need a weapon wheel, he needs a, a one-liner wheel. I mean listen to that man. Your face, your ass. What's the difference? That's a man who's legitimately sad for the loss of life. Damn, I'm good. And then he's like, Yeah, I showed that pillar some.
But that does work. Oh, you're supposed to go back. That's the trick. See, despite that area being like, you think it would be progress, it's not. You're supposed to go back here. here. And you fight those dumb, those dumb dumbs. I guess I'm the real dumb dumb if I fell for that trap. Float up here. I think that's kind of the point that uh, Forever missed. Forever's regenerating health system was fine, but it focused too much. Like, you can do something where you have like 25% health heals automatically, and the rest is all just that. You gotta work it. You gotta make it work, and you can't give Doom regener Duke Nukem regenerating health. Because. <laughs> Again, it just kind of kills the fast-paced action when you want to sit down and not waste your time. Like, Duke should only take a moment when he needs to think. I don't know what the hell I just got hit by, but that was nasty. Oh, that was cool. That was cool, and that's the only answer I'm going to accept on that question. Careful there, kids. We're gonna get blown to smithereens. Die. Jesus. I mean, it's not a bad one-liner, it's just not very poppy. You know, it's not gonna be a hit with a modern audience. You gotta be something like, hey, that's Pepe the Frog! Woo! Or bottom texts. And then you gotta cross your arms and camera and possibly dab and get yelled at by your mom i still can't believe i saw a kid who could yelled at by his goddamn mom it's like don't dab by your cycling boy and he just fucking he did it the madman did it <laughs> just oh man things don't change kids never change that kid did exactly what he would have done if he was older or younger because kids are gonna f just fuck with you because they want to because it's great I the exemplar of fucking with people. What just happened? I mean, the secret, I guess. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that was two way. Well, I guess that saves me the effort of having to open the secret up and go inside proper, but. That was weird. Why is this music so contemplative, though? Dude, no. No. Oh, my God. There's so many people here. <laughs> don't know why you all insisted on stacking up on each other like that, but there you go. But what would a good Duke Nukem game be? I mean, like, there's two real approaches you can take. You can exemplify what he was supposed to be, which was this cold uh, icon of perfection. So the gameplay has to be fast, action-paced, possibly have some score systems in there. Maybe bring back the secrets. But you can't use them in a gritty setting. Also, fun fact, uh, the, the spacesuits you see all around were actually intended to be knights at some point. Guess, guess, guess what didn't happen. Why do they eat enemies sometimes? I forgot about that. You could either take them like you could take the classic gameplay, or you could like go for something a bit more like exemplifying. You know? Duke Nukem 
is an all-American action hero. And just kind of ham it up. Because I just like ham, okay? I don't mind a character getting just a, a couple extra slices of ham on top of him. Jesus, dude, if you want my attention, just send a letter. <laughs> it's faster at that rate. blow each other up. They're just too strong to, sir, to destroy each other instantaneously. Also, if you're wondering when we get expander ammo, it takes all the way until the berf until they use it. So it's kind of annoying that they didn't sort of type, uh, like, white paste it out until this point. Also, these are durable buildings. Look at them. These are nice little pictures. They didn't do anything with it, but they're there. C'est la vie. Do not fear, citizen. Duke Nukem is here. And he will blow up your boring science buildings. Of course, another question you need to ask yourself is how would Duke Nukem reconcile modern technology in which... Like, we know that modern tech has progressed a lot. Increasingly important. Like how? I don't know why that just happened. It just did. Like a lot of stuff happens online nowadays, like hacking attacks and propaganda machines. You know, the kind of stuff that's a lot harder to make Duke Nukem work in. But I don't think it's impossible to do. Give a psychic. If be honest, I don't really have the stamina to do these final few levels, but this is remade. Skip when it was over there. Nothing too interesting anyway. Okay. Oh my god, this level's kind of neat. But at the same time, I don't like it. It's a really weird mixture. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. I need to remember. Okay, yeah. Just making sure my voice was recording all this time. Shame. Come get some. <laughs> what a mess. Piece of cake, that guy isn't here. That's really nice. That is a big ass load off my mind, by the way. So otherwise there's a third one on come get some or let's rock one of the two, whichever one's the harder one. 
played it on the third one. I mean, this isn't optimal. I have enough. I can just use this. Come get some. That's just kind of a neat effect. I think a majority of enemies can can stomp you when you're shrunk. Try not to get shrunk, kids. Or at least try not to get shrunk in a certain context. It's not a real problem to meet up with the drones, but they're kind of a late game enemy. This is a weird level. The level mostly tries to do that little cool spin around thing because the build engine lets you have pretty seamless transitions, but. Outside of that, is that a particularly too interesting level? There's a lot of more armor in this, but perhaps it just doesn't chew through as quickly on easy. button here. here is it. Jeez, those guys just chew through your armor. And for the most part, the rest of you too. on the three-dimensional aspect of things. Because he's always portrayed with his jetpack. Like, the jetpack is a recurring thing. I don't know why. It's not a, it's not an emblematic thing of his character design that he wears a jetpack, because it's a temporary item in this game, anyway. But, you could use it. You could make that an element. Focus on three-dimensional gameplay. Just have Duke swirling around all over the place like a madman. Could work. Wouldn't be the worst idea. Again, Duke. Forever kind of set a pretty, l pretty low bar. <laughs> Not to say that the Duke Nukem Forever is the worst thing ever, but it did drop all the bombs. Ah, just like I dropped that guy's Thursday night meeting. So meeting if she's not your date. One tear in it for each, and a death for me because I'm dumb. So that I can survive a rocket to the face. A rocket to his face, I'm the one. I'm the one who eats the surplus. I'm correct, one of these tools is also. Was this section? I don't know why that takes care of this one. Also, a quick tip is, if you have some pistol ammo and your pistol is not on a reload, it's not on a concern that it's going to reload, it's a pretty good weapon to take care of iced enemies with. Surprisingly reliable at that. They're going after Adam plants. That's where they make atomic healths. Health. Health. 
Ah, Duke. You're so good at just making a mess, really. I'll rip your head off and shit down your neck. That is extremely forward, Mr. Nukem. I would like you to know that I've already contacted HR about this. Unlike the Battle Lord, this guy's a little more reasonable, but I think he doesn't have enough going on to really be an interesting fight. I think you probably have the Devastator down, but I'll clean him up. That was fun. Ish. Got some real stickers in there. Including spin cycle. Now I can learn which one is the bad one. Let's come get some. Come get some. Damn, I'm good. Yeah, piece of cake. It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. Uh, he doesn't say whatever. That was fun, but I'm tired. It's late. I want to brush my teeth and go to bed all time tonight. But, see you guys next time. That was great. I like Duke Nukem. It's fun to just run through a whole section. And just, 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 just kind of kick up your feet. Just kick up your little feeties. Take snows.